Welcome to this video. In this video, we are gonna talk about using extended finite elements method or XFAM in Abacus. This example illustrates the use of XFAM in Abacus standard to predict both crack initiation and propagation due to stress concentration in a plate with a hole which is subjected to tension. Due to the symmetry, we model only one half of the plate and apply symmetric boundary condition to the left border of the model. We start with creating the part which is two-dimensional and deformable. Then we create a rectangle from point 0 and 0 to point 0 0.1 and 0 0.32. Next, we create a circle at the middle of the left border with the radius of 0.02. After that, we need to trim redundant curves. Partitioning of this space can help us to control meshing the part. We use four points to draw our sketch. At first, we draw a line between these two points. Next, we draw two horizontal lines. And then one more line between these two points. In the property module, we create a material with linear elastic behavior. Then we define traction separation behavior of the material using maximum principal stress criterion. As you can see, in this criterion, if the maximum principal stress is positive, and more than a critical value, the crack initiates and propagates. If the value of this function is between 1 and 1 plus tolerance, the crack initiation will be considered in the next increment. But if the value is more than 1 plus tolerance, this increment will be solved one more time by cutback. Then we define damage evolution rule based on energy and bit linear softening. We also use BK formulation to calculate effective energy release rate from energy release rate in various modes. As it is shown in this formula, we need to enter the power. Then we enter critical values of G1, G2 and G3. We also use a stabilization option to simplify the convergence of the standard solver. Next, we create a section and assign it to the part. Then we insert the part in the assembly module. In the step module, we create a static general step. As the convergence of the problem is not easy due to propagation of the crack, we reduce the initial, minimum, and maximum size of increments. We also need to increase the maximum number of increments.
we also request two field outputs related to the enriched elements. The first one is sign distance function to describe the correct surface. The second one is the status of the enriched elements. In the interaction module, we create an XFEM crack and then choose the domain. Here we can also define initial crack or specify contact properties. In the load module, we apply X symmetry to the left border due to symmetry of the problem. The bottom face is fixed in Y direction and displacement is applied to the upper edge in this direction. In the mesh module, at first using the seed edge option, we apply a small mesh size in the region with a stress concentration. Then we seed the part globally. We choose the quadrilateral and structured elements and then assign element types to the part. Elements are standard, linear, and plain strain. Finally, we generate the mesh, and then in the job module, we create the job and submit it. You can see the initiation and propagation of the crack beside the circle. For better presentation of crack opening, I increase the scale of the formation. We can pull out contour of phi which shows distance of points from crack surface. The status of an enriched element lies between 0 and 1 for cracked elements. Thank you guys for watching this video. You can find more about crack simulation in Abacus by watching videos of this playlist. If you think our videos are helpful, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in next videos.